Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of Birdie Nest conquer the concert goers and capture the Cutlass Keys. KOTT News crews were on the scene in the Keys, but the new governors were nowhere to be found. They have begun providing cut lumber to fellow members of the syndicate with daily requisitions available. KOTT News would like to remind its subscribers of the second annual Festival of the Campfire coming this September 28th. Come revisit the early days of the island by setting your campsite outside of town and reminisce about what the Festival of the Campfire means to you. Turning to the weather and today looks like it's going to be a long hot day as the sun rolls across the Eternum sky. Then, as the temperatures drop after sundown, keep an eye out for the north-south invasion corruption strategy yet again. Three roster submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it is cardboard. Up first, the Syndicate forces of Lords of Hotan assault the Covenant forces of Most Wanted for control of the primary oil reserves of Weaver's Fen. Slogging through the peat moss bog of the Fen, the Great House Lords of Hotan seek to expand their territory across the island. Few rarely come to claim the central traveling hub of Weaver's Fen, but most wanted will do everything in their power to stop anyone from taking it from them. Later, the marauders of Here Be Daddy attack the covenant forces of Here Be Monsters for control of the bamboo forest preserves and medicinal hot springs of Ebonscale. The newcomers of Here Be Daddy move to position themselves to investigate the rumored breach in the northern Death Wall. Returning to Ebonscale earlier this week, the zealots of Here Be Monster's intentions are to hold the hamlet until the Death Wall breach is discovered. In the nightcap, the syndicate forces of Fellowship of the Flame assail the marauders of Yig Dodgers for control of the master fishing port town of Reekwater. Making another move to acquire land on the island, Fellowship of the Flame turned their attention to the unstable region in the southeast. The forces of Yig Dodgers now defend two regions on the island, but should be able to field an entire team having only one fight for tonight. We'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.